Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in Power Director, where we're going to create a grid or a collage of videos. Now, when I was growing up, we called this the Brady Bunch Collage because we're going to create a collage using these nine different uh, video clips, or in this case, these are still photos, but they represent video clips. Nowadays, I think they call it the Zoom Collage because it looks like a Zoom conversation or any place where you're going to have several videos on screen at the same time. Now, I know there is a video collage tool built right into PowerDirector, and you can find it right here in the media room if you click on the puzzle piece. There it is. But we're going to manually create one because we have a lot more options when we do. Now, I have included here in my media in the media room what I call my Brady Bunch Grid. This is a little grid that shows the nine different spaces. You can download these from moviepix.com. I've got one for a 4x3 screen and I've got one for a 16x9 screen. And I'm just going to drag this down to the video one track. This is going to serve as my template for placing each of these clips. Now, like I say, these are photographs, but it would work exactly the same way if you were laying live video clips onto the grid. So I'm going to just start with one. Let's start with Dad. We'll drag him down to video track two. And when we add them to the timeline, you notice that we see little corner handles on each corner of the preview screen. And I can just drag those in like that and reshape this so that this particular clip fits right inside my little grid. Now I'll do that to video track three also. We'll drag mom down there. And once again, we'll drag on the corner handles to reshape and resize the clip so she fits right inside the grid. And that's really the basic principle. We can continue to add these. And then when we've added all nine of them, we have them each on a separate video track, as you can see. We can actually remove the grid from the background if we want. And there it is. Now we could animate how they appear. We can make them disappear. And again, if this were live video, we could actually have them moving in synchronization with the music. So that's the basic process for it gives you a little more power than working with the video collage tool, but it's still fairly simple. Every clip on a separate track, each of them sized to fit within the grid. Now, if you want to know more about doing these kind of high level tricks, if you want to know more about all the tools that are inside the program, including the video collage tool, be sure to check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about this program, every single thing, check out the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. I'm the author, and I hope to see you soon.